Charlie Chaplin is probably one of the most recognizable faces in film history. His comedic on-screen character known as The Tramp is considered as one of the most memorable and one that defined the silent film era. You may be familiar with some of Chaplin's movies, but how much do you really know about this comedic genius? In this video, we are going to look at four interesting facts that you may not know about the legendary British actor. Firstly, Chaplin partly grew up in an orphanage. As the health of Chaplin's mother deteriorated, so too did the family's finances. It got so bad that in 1896 Chaplin and his older half-brother were sent to a public boarding school for orphans and destitute children. Chaplin spent about 18 months there, the longest period of continuous schooling he would ever receive. He learned to read and write but apparently suffered quite a few indignities, including a severe caning and the shaving of his head during a bout with ringworm. Shortly thereafter, his mother was committed to a mental institution. His father, meanwhile, played very little role in his upbringing and ended up dying of alcoholism at age 37. Secondly, Chaplin quickly became a millionaire. For $1,250 a week, with a $10,000 bonus, Chaplin moved in December 1914 to SNA Studios, which touted him as the greatest comedian in the world. He then signed with the Mutual Film Corporation for $670,000 a year, after which he agreed to make eight comedies for First National for over $1 million. Finally, in 1919, he founded his own studio with fellow Hollywood icons Douglas Fairbanks, Mary Pickford and D.W. Griffith. I went into the business for money, and the art grew out of it, Chaplin once said. If people are disillusioned by that remark, I can't help it. It's the truth. Furthermore, Chaplin resisted the arrival of talkies. Starting with the jazz singer in 1927, films with sound rapidly replaced their silent counterparts. Yet Chaplin hesitated to adopt the new technology, fearing it would ruin the little tramp. In his two 1930s movies, City Lights and Modern Times, Chaplin included music but not dialogue, except for one scene in which he sings in nonsensical fake Italian. Finally, in 1940, he released a full-sound film, The Great Dictator, an anti-Hitler satire featuring him as a character other than the little tramp for the first time in almost 20 years. And lastly, grave robbers made off with Chaplin's remains. Just a few months after Chaplin's death, two robbers stole his coffin from a Swiss cemetery and sent his wife a $600,000 ransom demand. When she refused to pay, they allegedly threatened her kids. The bundling robbers were soon caught, however, and the coffin was recovered. It was then reburied in a theft-proof concrete vault. Have you enjoyed the today's episode? Leave your comment below, and we'll be happy to have your reviews. Thank you for your support and wish your good day.